What's taking so long? Dad, I think there's something wrong with my voice. Ah, sounds fine to me. Uh, seriously? Okay, so in order to apply the pitch shifter effect, it's pretty easy. We just go up here to effects instead of editing. You might be on it already. And then this window should appear and we are just going to type in pitch and then pitch shifter is going to show up. Just drag it down onto the audio part of whatever clip you are trying to affect. Now you're going to click on that clip and you're going to go over to effect controls. You might have your source window open and you're on here. You might not see it. You might have to click on these little like double arrows and then go to effect controls. Okay. So within effect and make sure you're clicked on your clip when you do that. Okay. So then we're going to skip past video here because we're going down to audio and there we find pitch shifter that we just added to edit pitch shifter. We go where it says custom setup and just click edit. Now this window is going to come up, just expand it out. I don't know why it opens up all collapsed like that. And really the most important thing in this window is this pitch transpose part where we have semitones and sense semitones are what more drastically change the pitch of your audio and sense is where you refine that pitch change in your audio. Anytime you want to hear what your audio actually sounds like, all you have to do is pick whatever you want, make sure this window is out of the way and click play. What's taking so long? And then you'll hear how you've impacted the pitch of your audio. When we have it at zero and our ratio is pretty much one, that means where our audio is normal. Even though we've applied the effect, we haven't done anything yet, so it should sound normal. When we move the semitones left or the sense left into the negatives, then the pitch of your audio will get deeper. If we max out all the way to the left at minus 12 for semitones, you can see the ratio becomes 0.5, resembling the pitch of a clip played at half speed. When we move the semitones or the sense to the right, you're going to get a higher pitch, like the chipmunks. If we max out all the way to the right, where the semitones are at plus 12, you can see the ratio becomes 2, resembling the pitch of a clip played at 200% speed, or two times as fast. You can also see up top here that there are presets, so I've been just dealing with the default one right now. But there's also Angry Gerbil. This is what the Angry Gerbil preset sounds like. There's Deathly Ill. This is what the Deathly Ill preset sounds like. Stretch. This is what the Stretch preset sounds like. And the Dark Lord. And this is what the Dark Lord preset sounds like. If we select one of these, let's say Dark Lord, you can see that its semitones are automatically put to negative 12, the sensor at zero, and you can see the ratio is 0 0.5. If we go to Angry Gerbil, you can see that it's positive 12, still at zero for sense, and the ratio is two. That's an automatic preset here. We can use those as a starting point and still scale them back. It just kind of gives you a starting point for these no different than default gives you a starting point at zero. But the presets are also affected down here by pitch settings. So it'll change the splicing frequency and overlapping as well. So if we go back to the Dark Lord, we can see that the splicing frequency is actually 500 and overlapping is 50. If we go to Angry Gerbil, now that changes to 61 and overlapping to 30. In the easiest terms I can think of, splicing frequency just kind of distorts your audio. High splicing frequency really tears your audio apart. Overlapping is basically just how much of your pitch effect is going to be blended with the original. Overlapping affects how much your pitch effect is applied. If you've messed around here too much, then just click use appropriate default settings and it'll put them back to what they originally were for the preset. As for precision, just kind of think of it as how clean your audio is going to be. High precision is going to be much more clean and low precision is going to sound more muddy and affected. This is what your voice sounds like with high precision. This is what your voice sounds like with low precision. The last thing I'm going to talk about for pitch shifter is basically how to animate it. So once you've picked your level that you like, then just exit out. Then we're going to go over here to individual parameters and drop this down and we're going to click this one down as well. So you can see right now, here's that two as far as the ratio goes. We know that angry gerbil is a ratio of two. So instead of having it two the whole way through, the angry gerbil the whole way through, we're going to 
affect it. We're going to make it sound angry dribble for a bit and then change it. So to do that, we'll put this near the start of our clip and click transpose ratio. So that sets a keyframe right there. And at this point, it's at two. But if we move this along, I'm going to go to about there, partway through this first bit that my son talks, and I'm going to put another keyframe. So the first one to set it going, we went to toggle animation here and then clicked it. And then now we're adding keyframes to change it. This is where we want it to change. And you can see the ratio was two. I'm going to take this slider though. And if I slide this down, I can bring it back to one at that point, And that should be your normal default voice or sound. Then if I move this along further by this point, I'm going to keep it like that. So if I click another keyframe, that's going to maintain this regular voice. But then by about here, I'm actually going to bring it down even lower, right down to 0 0.5, which should be that deepest voice that we can get out of this one, even though it started off on angry gerbil, because it's just a preset. It just puts those semitones and the sense to a certain spot, but we can still affect them. And then let's listen to what it sounds like. What's taking so long, Dad? I think there's something wrong with my voice. So you can see that as time went on, I kept it, it went from full chip monkey down to regular, and then it maintained that for a while, and then it went down to deep voice until the very end. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about the pitch shifter effect in Premiere Pro. Make sure to subscribe or else. Or else what? Ha, 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 ha.